having the same struggles he was having. <laughs> there is some sound to that video. It's a highlight video from our season last year. Um, as you can tell, I've got a lot to be proud about. And um, one of the things that I'm extremely proud about is having survived at LSU for, um, this is my 42nd season. So when, uh, I, I truly believe that if you opened up Louisiana as a treasure map, Baton Rouge, LSU is the X that marks the spot. There are a lot of great things that happen there. The, the hundred year old oak trees are just a small part of the myth and the wonderful things, the mysteries and all of those traditions that go on at LSU. And the mantra that my team lives by is the one that um, a lot of our facilities have on the wall. And that's the pride and the tradition of the LSU Tigers will not be entrusted to the weak or the timid. And um, I could not have survived at LSU for 42 years had I have been weak and or timid. Um, gymnastics at LSU has had a, a long and very rich history, um, but these last years with uh, the administration and the leadership that I've had with Joe Oliva um, has been amazing. We have the finest gymnastics training center in the country, which leads you to being able to recruit some of the finest athletes. And you know, you always, always have to remember that you have, the right, you have to have the right tools to be successful. And I think every coach in every sport understands that. Um, I've had 10 head football coaches and nine athletic directors in my tenure at LSU. But the, the 10 football coaches, and this is kind of a football heavy audience, so I'll tell you one quick little story that happened to me just recently. I, I'm a kayaker, I love to fish, and I, I'm passionate about our coast, and I was getting my kayak ready to go fishing one day, and uh, I hear this little voice going, pick me up, pick me up. And I ignored it and went about my business to get my kayak ready, because if any of you fish, you know how important it is to get all your tools in your boat and get everything ready to go. So, I'm still hearing this voice, pick me up, pick me up. So, I bent down and I went, oh, it's a frog. So I, I, I picked up this little talking frog and I put him close to my face and, and uh, he said, I, I'm, I'm Curly Holman. Kiss me and I'll become the greatest football coach in LSU history. I went, ah, I'd rather have a talking frog. <laughs> Opened up my pocket and put it in safely secure. But, um, you know, having had 10 football coaches and having now a football coach that I can truly understand, one that speaks South Louisiana English, um, it's really gratifying to be a part of such a great family at LSU and um, a great family in the Southeastern Conference, which is in fact the strongest gymnastics conference in America. We're hosting the premier gymnastics event in the Smoothie King Arena. And um, it's been my life dream, one of my, one of my dreams since 1981 when the conference recognized women's sports. 1981, we began to recognize. Do you know the men have 125 years of football history at LSU? 1981 was our first SEC Gymnastics Championship. And to be able to bring that great event here to this incredible destination city, is a dream come true. A lot of people working very hard to make it happen. A lot of people working very hard to bring what you saw on that screen alive here in the Smoothie King Arena, one of the finest venues in America. We're so excited, the tickets are on sale already. But let me tell you something about believing, believing that something can happen. In my tenure at LSU, I told you I had nine athletic directors. 10 football coaches. We pack Tiger Stadium. Do you think any of my athletic directors, any of them for one minute thought that women's gymnastics would outdraw men's basketball at LSU? Do you think any of them ever believed that we would pack the PMAC over 13,000 people, that we would have over 6,000 season ticket holders? None. None of them believed it. Every day I went to work with that belief in my heart that we would be able, first of all, that I would outlive the, the naysayers. I did that. And then that we would be able to put 
that many people to come and appreciate the sport of gymnastics, which is incredible. If you haven't seen it, if, you have, if you've never been exposed to it, I've left schedule cards, I've left flyers on the uh, entrance table. I gave it away. Flyer, there they are, on the tables. That um, The tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster. We've had the highest ticket sales, the highest pre-sale for tickets for this event in the history of SEC Gymnastics. There are over 4,000 tickets have already been sold. Um, we want to we want to pack that venue. We want to put a lot of people in gymnastics. Has been in this city. We've had a lot of great events in this city, and they have been very very well received, and people have turned out. So you know things happen with a ripple. A tsunami happens with a ripple. So if somebody talks to somebody and somebody else talks to somebody, all of a sudden it's exponentially successful. So if you will all get a, a flyer and talk to people about it, I, I, I want the opportunity to come and speak to other groups in New Orleans about this great gymnastics event. We've had so much success at LSU and I want to spread that and bring this here. I want it to be so good that we can do it again a few years from now and maybe bring the national championships into this great city. So thank you very much. I know you'll have other speakers and um, I just relish the opportunity to be able to, to share the message of LSU Gymnastics, but SEC Gymnastics. So thank you very much. Any questions for DD at all? Questions for anyone? Well, let's thank